The Mausoleum in Stadthagen The gravesite of Prince Ernst III of Holstein-Schaumburg was erected in the years from 1622 to 1627. The 80-foot-high building made of Aubenkirchen sandstone is very unusual for the region, the time, and last not least, for the status of the prince. Why the prince opted for a separate building instead of having the grave laid down inside the church, as was customary at the time, is unknown. Even more questions arise with the heptagonal layout, which is unique worldwide. Current explanations range from purely practical reasons of window arrangement to mystical understanding of the number seven or Rosicrucianism. The gravesite's bright and elated construction as an integrated work of art must be attributed to the local painter Anton Borton, who during construction work took over the supervision from Giovanni Maria Nosseni, whose style was much darker and heavily ornate. The wall paintings and ceiling frescoes are also Borton's work. Framed by antique marble pillars and epitaphs of the prince's wife and parents, the monumental bronze resurrection group by the imperial architect and the most renowned sculptor of his time, Adrian de Vries, dominates the room. A seven-foot-high figure of the resurrected Christ stands on the prince's alabaster sarcophagus, surrounded by sleeping guards. The idea of a resurrection-themed tomb is also unique. The portraits and emblems of the deceased, as well as symbols of their virtues and glory, which would usually dominate a mausoleum, are merely secondary. All 13 sculptures and six reliefs were created in Prague using the direct lost wax casting technique. A rough core model was formed from clay onto which the actual modeling was done with wax. This was the only way to achieve the impressive level of detail. Onto the finished wax surface, a clay-based outer mold was applied and then heated to melt the wax layer away. Bronze was then cast into the empty space left by the molten wax. After cooling, the outer mold was removed and thereby destroyed. If any mistake was made during casting, the entire modeling, which had taken weeks or even months, had to be repeated. This technique wasn't used often, not even by master craftsmen with great confidence in their own abilities, Yet, Adrien de Vries used it exclusively for his large sculptures. The mausoleum survived the Thirty Years' War undamaged, although far over 100 buildings were torn down in Stadthagen, and almost 40 foragings, pillagings and sieges took place during the years of conflict. Works by Adrien de Vries were frequently looted, and today are scattered over various museums, such as, for example, the Louvre. Only in the Stadthagen mausoleum can they be experienced in their original, unchanged environment. <laughs>